my name is Gabriel from Gabac QSA. In this video, we're going to talk about how the memory works in the system. So if this is the first time that you are watching one of my videos, I recommend you to go to the playlist on my YouTube channel. So that way you can start from the beginning and that way you can get your certification CompTIA A+. So now that you know a little bit more, so you can understand everything, I re like I said before, I recommend you to start from the beginning, so that way you can understand much better everything. So here I have a lot of things, I'm going to start explaining just the basic, and then we're going to go through the whiteboard later on. So why memory is important? I mean, of course memory is something, it's a device in this case, that we have in our computers that allow us to save information and do a lot of things. So in this case, when the computer is slow or when the computer is fast, I'll tell you why, how it works. So when you have the hard drive, in this case, you have all your information over there. You have your Windows, Office and everything else. So as soon as you start your computer, you will see or uh, that the computer has like a small little light that is usually is the light from the hard drive and you will see that it's blinking and it's loading all the software. So when it's loading all the software, it's loading it to the RAM. So when you have it in, in the RAM, the CPU can start working and processing all the information when you open the Word document and all those things. So what happens when you start having like a lot of software running at the same time and you don't have enough uh, RAM. So what you're going to see is that the RAM, I mean the computer is going to be slow. So why is it slow? So I'm going to give you like a small example so that way you will understand. Let's say that you, you're a computer technician, you want to repair computers and all those things and you have like a small desk, maybe two feet by two feet and that, that's it. So let's say that you can maybe have two computers and you can repair them at the same time. So okay, that you are the CPU in this case, uh, the RAM will be just the, the small uh, desk that you have and the information will be the two computers. So let's say that in your hard drive in this case is like few steps away, you have hundred computers that you have to, to repair. So you can work on two at the same time and that's it. So if someone say, hey, you have more computers to repair. Okay, what you can do is working on this and then maybe meanwhile you're, work you're working on this. Let's say we have notebooks. You can take them over there and then bring more here, but you can work just Two, uh, on, two, on two computers at, at the same time and that's it. But what happened if you get a bigger uh, RAM, in this, in this case you have a bigger uh, desk, you're going to be able to maybe to repair eight computers or ten computers at the same time and you're going to be able to work faster. The, the same thing uh, happens with the, with the computer. In this case, remember, so if you have all your computers here next to you, and you can work at the, at the same time or almost at the same time, it will be faster than if you have to go walk a few steps away, bring more, take them here, the one that you have here, take them over there and, uh, and so forth. So that is what happened with the, with the RAM. So if you don't have enough RAM, that is you're going to be swapping uh, files all the time and the hard drive is slow. Like, like I said in my prior videos, the hard drive, even the, the, fast, the fastest one, at least 2017, and surely for many years it will be the same. So you have SATA 3. Uh, in the base case scenario, if you have a solid uh, state drive, it will be around 500 megabytes. And if you have, let's say, a PCI Express, drive it will be around 2000 or maybe a thousand megabytes a second but the RAM is much faster than that so maybe the RAM will be like 10,000 and then 
that is why we need a RAM because if the hard drive could be as fast or faster than the RAM itself, we will need to have a, a, memo, a I mean RAM on our computers because uh, it will, it, that is the, the way it's going to be. I mean, in this case, always the, the hard drive was going to copy all the information to the RAM and then from the RAM, the CPU will start using all that uh, information. So basically, yeah, I try to be <laughs> very, very simple in this example so you can understand it better. So like uh, if you don't remember uh, very well, uh, or like I said before, I'll try to remind you here. Here we have 8 bit, 8 bit means one byte. Um, the computer used a binary code in order to, to process all the data. So here we have 8 bit uh, is equal one byte. So that is very easy. So in order to, I mean, in order so the, the memory can work, uh, you're going to need two things. One is the address and the other is going to be the value. So here we, we start from zero to n minus minus one. So if you're asking why is this? Because we start from zero. So that is the, it could be any, any size. So in this case, we are going to need the address. So it's the place where we are going to uh, save or, or write the information and we have uh, we need a, another place to storage the value. So it could be one, two, I mean one or, or zero, or it could be something else that I'm going to show you here. But on, on the computer, it's just, it, it, the only can handle this one or zero, and we can do some conversion that I'm going to teach you now in a little bit. Okay, RAM means random access memory. So is that is the, uh, the shortcut for RAM. So the operation that we can perform in the memory RAM, it will be read, for instance. So we need the address and the value. And then, well, if you want to write, it will be address and the value. And the other thing that you have to know is the initialization. Usually it has garbage. so. When you are operating, I mean, when you are programming uh, and you have a variable uh, that you have to change or you have to set, remember, clean it and set it like in zero or whatever. Otherwise, the computer will give you something random. So that I mean, if you are thinking, well, uh, I don't care, I'm not a programmer, but if you have to program, uh, that is uh, something that you have to, to know. So uh, the size, the memory size will be the number of cells by or times the cell size. So in this case, you, the cell size could be one bit, uh, one byte, two byte or four byte. And in this case, we have the size is one byte. In this example, I'm going to teach you in a, in a little bit. So if we start with uh, 1024 bytes it will be i mean if if you do the the math it will be 2 uh, uh, 2 to the 10 and if you are using if you want to use another uh, measurements uh, like kilobytes megabyte gigabyte you have to uh, you have here 2 to the 10 2 to the 20, 2 to the 30, 2 to the 40. So that is how you, you get all these, these numbers. So basically, uh, now that we have this, now I'm going to jump here. I'm going to teach you the other part. So how do we store information here? It's very easy. So here in this case, we have one byte. One byte is 8, is eight bit, like I said before. So. I'm going to, to tell you here. So here we have the, the cell size. Um, let's say we start in zero like, as usual. And uh, here we have uh, the, the address will be 1601, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1608. So uh, that is the one of the last, the latest one, the latest one uh, values that we have here. So. Uh, this is the address and then we have, in this case, we have the, the number in, in binary is 111, 111, 111. So we have F 
an F. So that how how do we save this uh, data here? So this will be very easy. So here we have um, the write the value that I mean. Here we have the operation will be write, and then the address one thousand six hundred one, and the value will be FF. So in so if we have to save it, so we are going to save it here, and then we are going to go to the next uh, sample. So let's say that we have two byte integer. So in this case, we have in, in decimal will be 7060. If we have to change it to binary, it will be 0001, 1001, 1001, So that is the, the number. So if you want to know how you can do that, you can use Google or I'll show you here a small app that I have for, for iPhone. So you can use this, this app to do the conversion or maybe in another class I'll teach you how you can do it manually. Um, okay, so now that we have this, this value is 1B94. So we have this value and we are going to save it here in this cell. So what we can do is we have two options, how we can record the, the data. Depending on the system, you may record in this system is called Big Indian or Little Indian. So the, the main value will be first and the less prominent value will be the, the last one. So in this case, I, I don't want to con uh, confuse you. So you can, we are going to block it like that. So in this case, we have one B here. 1B first and then 94 in the second uh, cell. So if if we are going to use the little Indian, we are going to block the other one. We have 94 here, 1B here, and that's it. So that is how you, you can uh, use one system or, or the other one. And in this case, we have the word hello, so in, in ASCII. So if you want to use uh, this example, let's say that we want to record. Remember you have uppercase, lowercase, and uh, depending of if you're using uppercase or lowercase, the code in the ASCII table will be different. So in this case, like I said uh, before, pay attention to this. So here we have 48, 45, uh, we have 4C, 4C, and 4F. So in this in this case, we're going to, to save the same thing. So we have 48 here first, and then 4, 5, 4C, 4C, and then 4F, and that is how we, we save. Remember, we need to know the, the address. So in this case, we know it's, we're going to use a 1604, and then 1605, 1606, 16, uh, like that, <laughs> zero 07 and zero 08. So I hope you have uh, enjoyed the, this class and this is basically how everything is stored. So now later on in another class, we are going to explain about uh, different types of memory RAM and other things. So I hope you stay uh, tuned so you can see my other videos about this. Remember, if you want to buy my computer, my computer class, about how to become a computer technician, you can go to Kava QSA. I'll leave the link in the video description. So if you if you want, you're going to have an exclusive class that you're not going to find here on YouTube. Remember to subscribe and see you next time. Bye.